Um, we're here tonight to welcome them. Um, Kenya is one of uh, Somaliland's uh, very old um, friend, and we are very glad to be here tonight with us. Um, I would like to welcome our foreign minister, uh, Mr. Mohamed Yoris, to come up here and give us his speech tonight. The distinguished delegates who came from Kenya. As my sister said, Kenya and Somaliland are two nations that are brothers, and we are all very pleased to have you here tonight. I think it's an honor for all of us as Somalilanders to see a high level delegation that's coming from Kenya to visit Somaliland. It's an honor for us as a nation. And I think we are all pleased to have you here for a few days. I know that there are a lot of people who will be saying few words tonight. But what is again, I would like to thank you for coming. And I want to wish you all the best. I'll be seeing you tomorrow available. And what is again, welcome to Somalia, your second time. Thank you very much. To have here with us the honorable distinguished guests from the Republic of Kenya, we, on behalf of the House of Representatives, I wish to welcome you and we wish you a happy stay. So my land and Kenya share a lot of history. We have been in so my land, we were using East African money, shillings, we, in our schools also, we were used to use the textbooks from Kenya. And we have a Somali, Somalilanders community in Kenya who are very happy to stay there. And here we have communities from Kenya who is working in different uh, NGOs and they are very hard working people and we are very happy to have them here. Ladies and gentlemen, using this, making use of this opportunity, I wish you convey our best regards to your president Uhura Kenyatta and to the people and to the people of Kenya. And please stay. We wish you a happy stay here in Somalia. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm really very happy to welcome our brothers and sisters from Kenya. As a young member of the group, now I am only 60 years old. We welcome you and as you feel at home, you are the most precious in Somalia. It is your second country. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like it has been said, my name is Amutai Besaya. I am a chairperson of a small Kenyan group we call it Kesoma. That is a Kenyan Somalia Welfare Association. And allow me to say some few words as far as Kenyans and uh, Somaliland is concerned. We are a small group of um, approximately 104 people, as far as I can recall. And we are a great community as far as Somaliland is concerned. Um, the small group that I mentioned before, we started way back in 2010. And we wanted to use that group to see how we can engage with the local as far as also we are the of Somalia so that we can improve on the relationship between the Kenyans and also uh, the host uh, people of Somalia. Um, I can simply say uh, for the time I've been here for four years and for the time that I've been here I've really enjoyed much hospitality as far as the local uh, people are concerned. I have witnessed, adapted, I have learned the local language. I can at least speak the basics. 
我怕你太太把地址忘掉了。No, I'm going to tell you about the money. My, my, I have people who are sitting as I go and see us because they've been here longer than me. There are some people who have been here more than 10 years, some have been here 7 years, and they really enjoy being in Somalia, living and working and also interacting with their local. So, Somalia is really a, a nice country, and um, from my opinion, it is becoming a destination, a destination in terms of. Uh, with the international community. Recently, the airport has been completed and you see now the airlines have started flying in. K2 is also very soon. We are also trying to improve on, on how we can improve the education. Now, in Kenya, in Russia, it's also part of us. So, you see, there are a lot of relationships between Somalia and other countries and we are proud as Kenyans to be part of that growing relationship between Kenya and Somalia. Now, um, the elders, I told the elders because they have been our advisors as far as the small uh, association that I mentioned that is Kesselman and they have been advising us. I would like to give this chance to uh, well, that that is Maria Gala to say one word. The, the most I'm saying is saying we have three minutes side. So I'm welcoming Mr. Maria Gala to say one or two words that it should be followed by at least a representative of the ladies. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. I'm greatly honored here this evening to stand in front of you. Uh, my name is uh, Wario Kalma, as we mentioned. I work with a uh, group of the organization as a country director. And I have lived in Somalia for the last five years. I've moved in different areas and I work generally in uh, Somalia. I want to let uh, our delegates know that it's truly the ladies say it right that Somali land is a second home. I agree with that hundred percent. Some of us who are here who are here are really enjoying working with different ministries. Ministry of Water, the currently Minister is Minister of Mining and Minerals, the Minister of Sister there, I work with him very closely. The Minister of Planning, like uh, Sayyid Syria, will do work very closely. And quite a number of ministers and the uh, member of parliament is a very good friend of mine, sitting in front here. And I mentioned that I've made quite a number of uh, friends. And it's been very encouraging and very interesting to work in this country, uh, all of us. I think my friend said we are about 104 as per uh, 2010. And I'm sure the number of us have grown. And we have been getting a lot of support from the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Very close to the Minister of Interior. And every other time when the issues we sit with them, we can and agree. Uh, one of our elder Yusuf, who has been here from 1998, has been linking us up with the ministries uh, very well, and we have been doing very well with the ministries. Uh, one uh, request that I really wanted to pass over to our delegation from the Republic of Kenya is that when you go back to this table, the president told me after, that we are at home and we are very safe and we are working very closely with someone like Let's see blood I think the second thing I wanted to appeal, which case of land has been appealing over the last three years, and for most of you who know, uh, Father Mani, who was the deputy speaker, was here several times, and we met him and we discussed this, is that there's a bit of challenges in terms of some land, land and this in Kenya about visa. And I think it's very important, and I want to say to you, the delegates who are here today, that because we are hosted very well here and we are told, we will appreciate if the opportunity will allow to have a small office here in this country that can facilitate for some islanders to be able to visit Kenya very freely and effectively. Thank you very much. So you see, we are, we are gender sensitive. The member are saying we need to have, if the man is the chairperson, we always need to leave a man. Just very few words. I'll just say thank you so much for the government of Somaliland for hosting us. And uh, for me, seriously, I feel I'm at home. This is my second home. I'm so happy. I feel comfortable. And uh, even sometimes I feel more secure being here <laughs> than home. <laughs> Government, the Somaliland government has really 
um, welcomed us and uh, have made us feel at home. So what I would like to appeal to our parents who are here, because they are our parents, and we have our godparents who are Somalian under the government, that is our godparents here. What I would like to appeal to our parents back home is that I would like to emphasize on what my friend has said, at least if you can have a representative here, so that even the Somalilanders who are back home in Kenya, they will feel safe. So that they know there's somebody who is already in their country and they will feel safe going to Kenya and will not have problems getting the visas and everything. From Kenya Airways Limited, I would like to uh, say to appreciate that uh, you have agreed that we come to assess your airport with a view to doing business with two people. And we thank the Ministry of Trade, the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Transport for allowing us to be here today. We started, uh, we came in today, and we are going to be here the whole this week. Uh, and before I tell you about objectives as well, I'd like to introduce the Kenya Airways uh, team. Uh, we've got uh, Mohammed. Yunis. Uh, and then most of all, our current host here in Somalia, uh, the Ocean Travel Limited, uh, led by Abdul Kadir Shukri. Another Abdul Kadir as well. And then Shamis. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ocean Travel Limited are our representatives here as the general sales agents. Uh, they represent us here and in South Africa as well. And we are proud to be associated with them. Our objective to be here today, um, after Friday, is to assess this airport's uh, standards and recommended practices as measured against the International Civil Aviation Organization and the International Air Transport Association. And ladies and gentlemen, this is not the first time Kenya Airways has visited this airport. We've come here three times, and today we were visibly impressed by the progress this airport has made. So we thank you very much for all those efforts you put through to bring this airport to the international standards which we expect it to be. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum to everyone. I think uh, the night has been so far great and I do not want to spoil it uh, by prolonging it with a talk from myself which is not quite exciting. So uh, I will be quite brief. I have just been given a very small uh, task which I have accepted and will try to deliver it uh, to the best of my ability. And that task is to introduce members of the Kenyan delegation. Uh, this Kenyan delegation comprises people from different walks of life. Yeah. Principally, the core members are members of parliament, of the Kenyan National Assembly. The team is led by the Honorable Anne Nyokabi. She represents Kiambu County and she's the head of this delegation. Soon you will yeah, get the opportunity to listen to her as she makes representations on behalf of the village. Also in the delegation is the Honorable Joseph Samal Lomo, is your local constituency. Samal represents a constituency with a large concentration of uh, people with ancestry from Somaliland. Also in the delegation is the Honorable John Karanja Kihagi, member for Naivasha. Again, Mr. Kihagi, like Samal, represents a constituency that has a good population of people from Somaliland origin. 
is happy to be here. You need to use them to the fullest because Somalilanders, uh, Kenyans of Somaliland origin, have enabled them uh, in their numbers to, to get these guys to parliament. <laughs> In the delegation, we have, uh, these are the parliamentarians of the delegation. We have our elder and senior member of our delegation, Mr. Paul Muhoho, who is a key captain of industry. He is in various sectors. With us too is Mr. Adil Abdullahi, the Honorable Adil Abdullahi, a former, former member of parliament. Currently advisor in the Deputy President's office and a very good friend of Somaliland. He has been here numerous times. If somebody comes back, back again, also in the delegation, we have Mr. Mohamed Jama Noor, also Kenyan of Somaliland origin, a freedom fighter. Uh, in the Somali, uh, Somaliland context, we used to call those guys, uh, we used to say Esther. You know, Esther, not the Esther name, but they, they were in the Esther name movement. So that's, that's uh, Mr. Chan. We also have with us Mr. Amos Kiari, who is a barista, the youngest member of the delegation. Uh, myself, of course, but uh, there is one younger than me, uh, Mr. Ali. Ali, Ali Mohamed Jama is with us. struggling to get the song. This song, I listen to it on my computer always. I've uh, asked my children and they're excited about it. So the two things about Somaliland is the flag. We, we, we admire this. And I'm hoping that you guys won't shake the flag at the National Anthem. They're beautiful. Please keep them. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. As you've been told, my name is John Aijan Hage. I'm the member of the parliament for the Ibasha constituency. We did what we call a good county. And uh, let me say I've been in uh, Somalia for the past uh, heading to 10 hours. And I feel really I'm in my next home. The hospitality I've seen for those few hours has really been really visited. This is such a good I've never been to, but God is lucky that I've been here today. And I was telling my fellow Kodaku member that a few weeks ago, my, my father from San, who is about 12 years ago, was doing something in the land in the school about the radio shop that was built by Italians here in Somalia. And for some other reason, we got interested in it. And he was looking at the very succeeded. I think uh, that he was there, that he was appointed by the British and all that. And I did not know where the connection was heading. But today I was telling my friend, maybe that was the connection I needed to have with Somalia. But basically, the first group, the first foreign people to settle in Naivasha were Somalilanders. Besides the last they were connected. We are taught by history that about uh, 120 years ago, when the colonists were set to me, one of the Lamia passed around here and he picked a lot of the uh, people, commonly known as the Isahakia community, and they came and they settled in the Russia. Right now, they live on several thousand, several tens of thousands of them, and they are very here to help me in my political company, and they are my very good friends uh, in the uh, Russia, and I can tell you. That so my dad has a wonderful people, and when I go back now, I'm going to see them in a different light now that I've seen their beautiful, their beautiful country. So, so I thank you. I also don't want to talk about because my food is getting cold and it's very nice. I want to thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My name is uh, Joseph Samara Noma. I come from Isiolo. Kenya, I'm a member of parliament, this is my first time to be a member of parliament. That was crazy, but I tried in 2007, I lost, and I was with my friend Wario Dan Maria. Wario Dan Maria is my constituent. He voted for me. 
Uh, I want to appreciate the contribution given by uh, the Kenyan delegation. The, the Kenyan, the Kenyan, uh, the Kenyan in, uh, uh, in Somaliland. Uh, they have expressed their feeling. They have appreciated you people. They are saying they feel more comfortable to stay here. And they would like to stay much longer. That is really good. It's good thing that people can say about you. The rest of us as a delegation came here with a mission, and one of the mission is to see what are these opportunities that we can be able to explore with the government of, of Somalia. We have seen, we have had, we have observed, and we are still here for the next two, three days so that we have something that we are going to document which is going to be value to this thing that we have done here. Some, some of the things that you could have said, we were told by the leaders that we met from this morning, we saw the airport, we have seen it, we felt very good here, we are staying here, we are thinking about uh, enhancing the capacity of life in this area, that is a good gesture. I want to be, I am the committee of transport of which all airports, all roads, all railways are under that committee. So I think this is something that I can be able to take part of the committee and be able to show the rest of the value to what you can do. Finally, as the state area, I am in law to to the people of Somaliland. I'm going to Somalia. Then the British answer, I said, no, I'm going to Somaliland. A land that is independent. A country that is independent. A country that is peaceful. A country that has no trouble with itself. So we are going to have a lot of people. So I now am now thinking of going and coming back with our three children so that we can have a good stay here for some time. If you want to come back home, you can stay back home. Thank you so much. I want to say this opportunity to the Kenyan delegation to thank the government of Somalia for your hospitality. Since the time we got here, we have nothing but praise for the way that we have been treated as the Kenyan delegation. And I must say that as I told my daughter that I was coming to Somaliland yesterday, she was very sad. She was like, Mommy, please don't go. But when I go back, I'll be happy to let her know that this is not what we see on TV. This is a completely different uh, independent land that is well governed, has democratic institutions, and that she has nothing to worry about. This trip has been informative. We have heard your needs, and we will ensure that when we go back, we will give the right support and we will ensure um, that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs gives our report, the Minister of Trade gives our report, and we will support Kenya Airways, the Committee on Transport, to ensure that we strengthen and deepen the ties between Kenya and Somalia. And you can be sure that those pleas will be heard because as a member of the Defense and Foreign Affairs Committee and Regional Integration Committee, those are key areas of um, cooperation that we'll be working with. And as you know, Kenya's foreign policy right now is Africa first, Africa second, Africa third, Africa fourth, Africa fifth. And because of that, we will ensure that those particular ties and trade is strengthened between our two countries. And we will ensure that the needs of the Kenyan diaspora, we have heard your pleas that you would like representation. 
and wherever they are Kenyans, it is our duty as a country and as a government to ensure that you also are facilitated in ensuring that whatever you need that you require will be met. And because this is a friendly nation, we will ensure that we work to strengthen those ties. I can see that I have some voters here, so I would be remiss to not say thank you for giving me your vote. I, I know I, I, there are six people here who voted for me, which contributed to my 600,000 votes that I got in my county. And thank you very much. We want you to continue to be good ambassadors to Kenya and Somaliland. The good relationship that we have, we want you to continue to cultivate. We have MKU, we have Jomo Kenyatta University. There are so many areas of cooperation that we can work with. Then you, we look at uh, in the areas of meat, heights and skins. That's an area Kenya can learn from. In the area of security, uh, the way that Somaliland has been able to maintain its, its independence and its institutions in an area that is fraught with a lot of instability is an area that we can learn and a possible area of cooperation that we will ensure we As we continue our stay here, we are looking forward to ensure that we strengthen those ties and we will work together. And I want to encourage um, Somali landers because we will ask for an office to be open here. And our government has been very in terms of the way that we've been looking at Somaliland within the last year and a half, and this will continue. Welcome, Nakalibuni Kenya Sana. Um, Somaliland won Shalahai. Now, Nakenda Nchiao, Namuendele Pendana, Namuka Pamani, Namuendele Shikenya Mbele Hapa, Asaseni Namuku Abadi. Somaliland, 